Lorenzo, Lorenzo, hör das jetzt fucking Engel, die Engel ist zu laut. That's roughly what must have happened in 1958 when one of the employees tried to tell Lorenzo that there was a letter from the Ministry of Transport warning them that the Montone does not fulfill the safety regulations for Fruinia in 1960. Lorenzo was way too busy with the racing project and thus ignored everything else and now we're here, we lost our cash cow in Fruinia, the company is in debt and losing money quickly. Will we survive? Let's find out. All right, here we are. And yeah, it's a bit of a mess. We are losing tons of money. Our company valuation is very, very bad. We have a credit score of F, which means we cannot launch any major projects that would seriously drag us out of the ditch that we are in. And that means we have to work with very little money and try to improve our offering, try to reduce our expenses and somehow get out of this. So the Nuova Vavia is currently our cash cow at a profit of 300k roughly but that's because we still have 86 pre-orders and are selling off those. The Montone is our problem child and as we heard we are not selling them anymore in Fruinia because of yay safety. So this is something we have to fix. I think the Montone, I, I said the platform is dead, now it really is dead but we need to keep it alive for a few more years just because we cannot start a major project right now and we need to somehow get the cash flow up. And I think we need to try to sell it again in Fuenia. The F2 car is currently being engineered. We know that it will lose us money. We cannot sell all of them that we could produce. So I will just produce for one or two months and sell whatever we have on pre-orders. We will just sell them and then we won't spend any more money on this project anymore. So first of all, reducing expenses. You see here, what can we reduce? Research, of course, marketing. Yeah, loan repayments, unfortunately not. Engineering, unfortunately not. Production, not. That's what brings in money. So let's focus on R&D. And yeah, it hurts myself, but I don't see any other way than just killing all of our R&D activities. There we are, no spend anymore. And that means we will save 360k per month. That's quite a lot, 20% of our expenses. Marketing, I think we can optimize as well. Let's talk about optimization and not reduction, right? Yeah, we are just spending in Fuenia and Dalua, currently 230k. And we can reduce that a little bit. Again, this hurts because it will hurt us in the long term. But in the short term, there's no other way if we want to stay alive. Something like this for Fuenia and for the Lua, basically the same. Yeah, agility doesn't cost a lot, weight as well. We, we saved around 90k here. I don't want to reduce it completely because it hurts so much. Okay, that's the one thing we can do and then we have a bit more money and we want to spend that money on getting the Montone out in Fruinia again. So we make a new facelift and yeah we will definitely not sell the Jingiale. Uh, we just delete that one because we have a supercar in the market now with the Nuova Via and yeah let's check what we can do. And there we are, our Competizione model is a convertible. And let's see if we can make it safe enough. So safety in Fuenia. Let's check, there it is. 20 in Fuenia for 60s and 70s. And in the Lua it's 0 and 15. So 20 is our target and we are currently on advanced 50s and if we go to advanced 60s we are at 17 and we will need a lot of quality to get up to 20. So bye bye competizione model, you will be deleted. 
let's hope the coupe version will do it. There it is. Advanced 60s and we're there. We need to stay at 2 quality, but this one can be sold again in Fuenia. It's currently ranked pretty badly. The body is quite old and the people don't like it anymore. So I guess we need to make it a little bit more attractive. So let's work on the body itself and make this more beautiful. I guess chrome always helps. So let's go with chrome first. All right, that's a huge improvement, I would say. <laughs> what else can we do? What about a bit of chrome around the headlamps? And maybe because the Nuova Via already had a badge, let's also add one here on this one. Let's add more badges. Right now, it's definitely more desirable. Let's also optimize a bit the car in general and let's have emissions in mind. Currently, we are not making any emission regulations and in Fuenia it will start in 1962. It's not a problem because currently we're not selling it anymore in Fuenia, but in 1962 West 1 will be active and in 1967 West 2 and we definitely need to fulfill West 2 and then if it will not run longer than 1971. And we will have a successor until then, hopefully, if we still are alive. So let's make a replacement. And of course, emissions tuning means probably losing a bit of power. And to circumvent that, we can try to increase a bit of stroke and stuff to make sure that we make a bit more power. So we are still within the limits of what the engine can do. Just running into RPM issues here, but we can fix that. A bit more balancing mass and reducing our RPM. We want to get our reliability up because it's just a mess. Emissions. So currently we are making none because of CO. CO means we are running too rich probably. Yeah, definitely improving there. By running less rich, And I guess also, I uh, know, more compression actually would help. Can run a bit more basic cam without losing too much power. Still need to save 25% of CO. Also, I'm neutralizing the ignition timing because it will help the reliability. Do we still run the single carb on this? Oof. probably is all right yeah we're at the limit with the carb i don't want to invest more money so changing the configuration will cost us a lot of engineering time so i'm sticking with the single barrel and maybe we will make it a little bit larger but first we need to get hold of our emissions here five percent probably the springs are way too stiff 3.5% and we still make more power than the original engine, so that's all right. Yeah, now by making it more lean, I have a huge margin. Maybe we can make some money even from the emission bonus we get. I 
can even reduce RPM a little bit more, I guess. Power is pretty much gone by then. Uh, yeah, with cast pistons we actually um, gain a lot of reliability because of the power density and then we're basically there. We would even make Wes 3 with this one and almost Wes 4. So we're definitely good. So now let's make the car more desirable in general. So maybe some LSD. Does it help a lot? A tiny bit, but it would cost us a lot, also in the margin. So maybe let's stick with the open diff. I'm sorry. Wider tires. For more handling, but we need to fix the wheel offset a little bit. Brakes, um, yeah, again, no major changes are possible. We will just try to optimize a little bit. Cooling would be something to improve our reliability just a tiny bit. Always check if the emissions are still there because we have increased the drag. Gearing is fine as well. Uh, we can find a little bit of drivability and sportiness there. And reduce the cost of the pad type a bit. And the interior. Yeah, I don't want to go for luxury or anything. I think we're good with this one. Safety is fine. We can make the car cheaper by not doing weight, weight reduction anymore and no optimization of the weight distribution. Just need to check if our steering graphs are all right still. And maybe we can get a little bit more sportiness by increasing camber. And trying not to oversteer that much. So this seems to be a very sweet spot. Sixty-one percent desirability only. So it's not too good. But I think it's good enough. We will sell quite a few even at this low rating. Maybe this is the Mark III. And it's not the 1100, it's the 1200. Oh, it even has more than that. Okay, I think it's a pretty decent car. And it will only cost us 3 million, which is still a bit too much for my taste. Let's see, two, two years maybe, as quickly as possible is always the goal. Especially now that we are not selling any more to Fuinia, but the engine will take longer, it looks like. Oh no, I can reduce the time it takes by making them actually work on it. And then we're actually pretty good. Two years as well. 3.6k per engine is alright. And our farm shed is already pretty good. I think we will sell a bit more than we do right now. I will pay my workers so that they build better cars and not have recourse all of the time. Invest a bit into tooling because it doesn't cost a lot. QA threshold maybe a little bit higher. And then we have a decent car running really nice here. Also, I want to take a little bit more deposits because I need the money right now. I think at this price we're doing all right. Or I even make it cheaper, but get more deposit. Yeah, I hope just that they hammer in those pre-orders. All right. So this is quite an expensive project at six million. Should I get the full loan coverage here, then I'm even more in debt. 
and I probably cannot build a proper successor car because I cannot repay all of the debt. Maybe I just take 50% and repay that quickly. Let's try it like this. All right, we have a lot of stock of the poop version, so I will pause it and we need to hammer out those. Let's let it tick and see where we end up. Okay, that's fairly decent. If it would stay like this, I would be happy. We are not losing that much money. We are building a bit of stock here for the Competizione. I let it run for one more month and then pause that as well. It's all right, we're managing it. I think Nuova Via has run out of pre-orders for the spider and the Berlinetta will do the same very soon but they can still reduce their shifts or we could reduce the pricing now I have huge losses because the new factory is being constructed our racing shed and yeah, that's definitely necessary, of course, to have a new factory now that all of our factories are not running at full capacity. And it's 1961 and surprise, no taxes will be paid. We are losing money fast. I need to pause production of the Nuova Via. Oh, actually not yet. But yeah, the Montone is already contributing with a little bit of money. Company valuation is tanking by half a million per month. Yeah, that's what we lose. Hey, we have three orders for the F2 car. Four pieces already. This is a reasonable number. I guess I have to restart production for the um, Montone at some point. But we are almost done building the factory. And factory is built, car is being engineered. We have eight pre-orders already of the F2 car. And we let them build for a month, see where we are and then probably kill it. One more tick. Excellent, we are at a profit because we don't spend money on on building the factory anymore and we are out of pre-orders so we will now kill the F2 car we have built enough of those we just designed an empty factory no project no loan we will just pay 6k but we will save a lot on stuff Okay, so that will be gone very soon. And yeah, now the next step would be to update also the new Vavia um, to the new requirements, emission stuff, make it viable for the long term. And then we should have a solid base for the future again, hopefully. All right, so taking a look at the economy, this is also, of course, something that's not really helping that we are heading into a recession here. But yeah, what can we do? So to increase our chances of survival, let's work on the update for the Nuova Via. Again, safety and emissions. Let's not forget about those. Let's start with the Berlinetta. And yeah, we are not yet using the new inline four engine um, as it's quite expensive to produce if we don't have our own engine factory. So we will work with the old direct acting overhead cam V8 and try to make this one work um, also for West 2 emissions regulations. Currently we're at West 1. That's good. We are not too far away. 50, just 50% hydrocarbons from West 2. And here also, I guess, it's all right if the Nuova Via or this update of the Nuova Via can get us to 1972 and we need 
better engine, better carbs, something for West 4, I guess, anyway. So, first of all, do we want to improve something on the visual side? I'm actually still super happy with how this looks. Safety wise we are safe, we don't need an update, at least for this one, I have to check the convertible of course. And if we have to upgrade the convertible, then maybe I also will upgrade this one. And so first of all I want to get the engineering of the car done before we go into emissions optimization. So here is basically fine, we can go for magnesium wheel wheels will be more expensive but also a lot lighter and more interesting for our supercar buyers which we still don't get fully because the cars are too cheap but there is not enough supercar buyers yet so we cannot increase the prices hopefully soon we will be able to increase our margins to values which are from another world and also we can finally get wider tires so maybe let's try 165 185 this now looks a lot better, I guess, here in the rear is also fine. In the front we will reduce a bit of the track width. And then brakes. <laughs> it's kind of funny that we are still running the drums. But it still works. Still basically no brake fade. So we're doing all right here. 80% desirability so far in super and we will get more if I see the steering graph. Um, I don't go to phonograph, just have a very efficient upgrade here. Don't choose new parts when it's not necessary. We need to be super cheap. We don't have any money mo anymore in the bank and this is uh, the income we have to work with and it will probably go down once we have sold off all of our pre-orders. So actually the springs, the standard springs should be better. Chose the wrong ones. Yeah, those are more sporty. Do I do that? Should be really cheap engineering time wise. So I go back to the standard springs. And then try to make it not oversteer. Good tune here. Also compromise between all of the three. And we're at decent desirability now. Let's improve on our engine. 108 horsepower was the old one. And again we can go for a little bit more capacity here. In the World Sports Card Championship of course that would this would mean that we would go into a different capacity class and basically play with the big guys in the 2 liter plus but for racing it still would be possible to destroke a bit so this is the streetcar version i can further up bore the engine for a 2.2 liter but it will hurt our reliability i will still do it 2.2 liters just so that we get a bit more power out of it and that it's actually an improvement and that the emission stuff will not hurt us too much. Take back a few revs. Lower cam. And softer springs. Car emissions. 26% hydrocarbons. And that would mean we would heavily have to decompress the engine. We're still not there, still not there, still not there, and here at 7.3. And this is how our timing map looks like. So I don't think that makes a lot of sense. We need different carbs. Triple carbs make it worse. Single carbs will cost us a lot of power, probably. Yeah, and even if I make it huge, okay, that would actually work. But still, we're 16% away. DCOE will be worse. Four barrel will be very expensive engineering time-wise. So I was thinking about something weird. 
Yeah, how about the eco carp here? Does look pretty nice, doesn't it? So let's go for something funky. Still 10% away, but I think we can optimize that. I'm making a lot of power with it. Carbs are way too large. And we are actually there already. Timing could still be improved. 1.4% margin. 0.3% margin is probably not a lot. I will have to leave some margin because the convertible will be, or the spider will be less efficient. So we're losing uh, not too much from unutilized octane. So it is all right. And we will run this car at a lot of throttle anyway, because we don't have a lot of power. It's just 111 horsepower. So that's quite all right. Um, the header is quite small. Still got a bit of margin. All right. So I'd say this one is fine. And we also breach into the 200 km an hour mark. I was just checking if the material costs go down a lot if we don't reach 200 km an hour, but I think it makes sense to try to say this is our first car going 200 km an hour after the Formula 1 car, of course. Then that's done and let's work on the spider. And where are we with this one? unfortunately not there so it takes a lot more but let's first work on the wheels to also get it to the same setup make it lighter yeah, we're a bit above the, in the hydrocarbon area and we should try we should try to make it but maybe just to change something let's give it a different paint i i thought it really looked nice in blue Right, nice and blue. Aero quality doesn't help too much. Suspension, we also go back to the standard. And yeah, we have some failing safety standard stuff going on. Uh, that's probably Hedvesia, right? Yeah, Hedvesia already has 25. And they have five convertible sports, so I don't think it is worth it yet um, to invest so much to get to 25 safety. We're all right safety-wise here. Suspension tuning is a bit more on the comfy side, which is nice, but we want to understeer a bit more. And still 3%. Trying out different gears. Yeah, it doesn't make a big difference. So I have to work on the engine again. Just get a little bit less hydrocarbons from it. Okay, one click less cam. Did the trick. I need to do it like this and we still make 111 horsepower or 112 even depends on how you count so let's check our Berlinetta again emissions all right almost yeah 30 percent away from west 3 um, but definitely it's a lot easier in the close top cars compared to our um, convertibles just because of the drag this would be super cheap by the way no not super cheap but all right um, super quick but the engine will probably take a bit of time let's do this one first here we have 21 months uh, do i want to fund it no it's so expensive 
more expensive 15 months maybe 10k for the engine Yeah, it becomes expensive very quickly. Let's do it like this. It's a bit more expensive now, but I think we can do this. And our new shed will hopefully be able to produce one at one shift again. We have huge potential profit if we take supercar prices, but we will probably go a little bit lower. Yeah, that's about the price range I had in mind. But again, I want to have more directly from the deposits. So let's just try out supercar prices for once. 80k and 85k. It's actually better, but we cannot run at half a shift anymore. So I guess we will reduce those. Our typical 40 45 and then we run it one shift and at least get some pre-orders in and I think it's overall a bit better I could try to just to increase the price of um, the spider which will also help maybe that's then the spider could also go into the super supercar category and the Berlinetta is more the standard stuff. I think that's a very good idea to do it like this. We get more profit, we cover more markets. They don't complain because our cars are for plebs. And we get more money, yeah. One shift. Let's optimize the factory for that. All right, six million in a bit more than one year is um, about 400-500k per month and that's a bit much so again we should probably take a bit of a loan just to be safe 4 million this would be definitely all right go to 50 percent but i want to pay it off very quickly we will definitely survive with this setup. The only downside is that we have loan, which will hurt our credit score. So I'm reconsidering because my next step should be to get our production up of a proper entry level sports car in a small factory <laughs> with our own engine factory. And I'm really not sure how we should do that if you're constantly in debt. But I currently don't see a way around it. And I need some kind of loan between 30 and 70%. I could go a bit lower, but then it would be more risky. So let's do it like this. I just think it's all right. And maybe we will lose a few more years until we get proper production up and running. But I think this project is decent. Let's sign it off. And then let's see. I can live with this kind of loss. A semi-clad under tray would have been really nice for the new Nuova Via, but I didn't want to wait anymore. Company valuation is still going down. I still have one car in stock of the F2 car. It should be gone very soon. And people already want the new Berlinetta. And of course, the new Montone. But I need to produce for one more month so that we have enough cars. 22 in stock, I need to produce one more month. So I have two cars sold. 28 in stock, I will produce one more month. And then stop this one. Stop this one. I have about four months of Nuova Vias in stock. This is really a balancing act and it's working out beautifully. Currently we get 300k from a loan. We are repaying 184, so we get each month 140k more, more debt. And we're in debt at 21 million right now. And we're also paying um, emissions fines. The spider is, as I said before, pretty bad because of the drag. 
it had and currently we are selling two Fruinia um, and yeah each Berlinetta gives us one dollar each spider costs us 133 no more cars in stock yeah um, yeah so the Montoni Mark 3 is there with the nice chrome strip and we have 53 pre-orders no we have 300 pre-orders of the Mark 3 which is pretty good we will start producing next month and also um, the new Berlinetta is, is selling really nicely and I can definitely stop production now of the first gen Nova Via because um, we have too much stock ouch what's happening why are we spending so much money uh, yeah of course loan repayments are kicking in now um, somebody has turned up some production the farm shed is producing like crazy and of course we are not making as much money off the montone as we could because we are still paying off all of the pre-orders and they already gave us 40 percent so we don't have a good uh, margin right now but once the pre-orders are gone it will be better still i don't understand why we have such a spike in cost is it just production probably so this could be pretty close still if i continue to lose that much ouch 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 we have two more months until we get hopefully <laughs> a another loan from the bank just to keep us alive but um now we are actually getting money <laughs> very good um the montone is making us 11k a month because it's so clean and we're selling so many of those okay we gained another month because the margin on the montone is getting better and we should almost be clear of the mark II montone last car doesn't want to sell so i just delete it and yeah now we're we're going back to profits again now that we are selling more and more of the montone almost profitable and there we have profit who would have guessed that so you see the green line this is constantly increasing this is the order intake that we get so this is constantly increasing as we reduce our pre-orders um, the desirability penalty is reduced so the penalty you get for people who need to wait on the car until it's produced so we're almost done with our pre-orders and that's why we are getting closer and closer to our real demand also we are selling five times or four times as much of the next gen Nuova Via than the Berlinetta and Spider of the first gen which is really good we just have a bit too much in stock here but those will be gone very soon as well and yeah what's excellent is we're profitable our debt has gone down a tiny bit and company valuation is almost starting to improve i guess if we continue like this and now in september 1962 we still are very profitable company valuation has tanked again oh god and the old spider still is costing us a bit of money but i think we should be there next month the new nuova via is there and it will help us oh look at that what is that huge spike in income we need to call our tax man and say there's nothing to get this year from us definitely not um, and that's mostly because um, we have sold off all of the spider <laughs> pre-orders um, this is our huge margin car 245 percent and now we start working on the bellinetta and then we will actually reduce our sales in the very in the near future of the nova via and then also our profits will go back to normal levels again but i think we have turned this ship around we just lost three years but we are now at the same level of income again but we reduced our expenses by a lot i hope things are going into the right direction finally still credit score is pretty bad also the montone platform is 11 years old so i think the mark 3 is the final iteration and definitely we need to get going with a successor before we end the episode let's take a look at our sales numbers here we basically see a huge 
sales in light sports in Fruinia. And all of the convertible supercars are going to Dalua right now. Let's take a look a bit more in detail. Light sport market. Here we are on on actual P5 with 51 cars. The others are just 10 times as big as we are. And in the supercar market we are not yet in the top 5. But we will hopefully get there. For sportiness of 30, let's take a look at Rossiano. Sportiness of 24, come on, this is not a supercar. Yeah, Corvarolo is building track cars, they are more sporty than we are. That makes sense. Alright, and with that, and with the beautiful Nuova Via Spider, let's end this episode. Still, I have in mind we have to take all of the old cars to the track. I will do that in a special episode after this one probably. And yeah, then I'm looking forward to hopefully a bright future after this very, very dark age of three years just trying to recover and trying to make up for our shortcomings when it comes to safety regulations. And we also will try to stay a bit more awake and to stay on top of things with regards to emissions and safety. I have started a table, a spreadsheet to keep track of where we are, where our cars are, and I will introduce that also next time. So for now that's it. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.